Hello guys, welcome back to Glitterhead Dental Diaries. I am Alicia. I'm, I'm Nevaeh. The, that's Nevaeh. I'm the mom, in case you couldn't tell. This is my beautiful 11 year old. She actually just turned 11 and we did actually vlog some of her birthday, so you might see that coming up soon. But, whoops, there we are. Anyways, you know, if I just set it there, that would be better. Anyways, so today we're just sitting here getting our little Tim Hortons fix. She got a bagel, I finished. which she ate so she cannot show you. And I'm enjoying my chai tea because I feel like they don't make them better than Tim Hortons. I get mine like a triple triple, so three cream, three sugar. I get a bagel every time because they're good. Mm. Yes, and she always gets a plain bagel toasted with butter, pretty much. So anyway, crap, I'm going to drop my drink. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're on I'm the just... hunt for jelly candies because they're, they look good. She's looking for these jelly candies that kind of explode in your mouth. They look like gushers, you have to bite into them. but they're some other kind. They're and jelly. she thinks that it would be fun. We could do a mukbang with them if we found them. We're probably not going to find them today, so that'll be a different video. But today's video, I've had the idea to do this for a little while, and today would just turn out to be like the perfect time. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Nevea, just because I don't think you've met her. But this is Nevea Rain. She's my second daughter, my second of four children. She just turned 11, and we just had a really a fun shopping trip. We went to the mall and did a lot of fun, cool stuff. There was stuff. a lot of deals. There was a lot of good deals. That's like part of the best, the best part of shopping uh, with mom, because I know where to get the good deals. But anyways, Nevea is in fifth grade. She plays a lot of sports, soccer, she does dance, she does hip hop, she does softball. She's a very good athlete as she cracks and breaks her neck. <laughs> but yeah, she's really good. She's very smart and she loves to read. She loves to write. She loves to do art. And so anyways though, the idea for this video, I really wanted to see what my kids would say when I asked them questions. And I Hold can on. ask her questions. And get my hand out of the way. But yeah, I wanted to see what my kids would say if I asked them questions like about dentures and social media, etc., things like that. I'm gonna so, ask her stuff too. And then she's gonna ask me. So it's gonna be mom and kid ask each other questions and see. See how much we know about each other. Well, see what, what the questions. other person says. I mostly want to ask Nevea questions about dentures to see what what a child's viewpoint is on them, either before they see someone go through it or now that she has seen me go through it, I wanna know what she really thinks about things and find out what she used to think and if that has changed after seeing someone go through it. So we're gonna start and let me see, how are we gonna do this? Am I gonna do my questions first or are we gonna take turns? Yeah. I'll just do my questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do my questions. We might not have time for her to ask me too many, so we'll do that at the end, but. Um, all right, so before I got dentures myself, you already saw me kind of already, I had a partial denture and Grandma Rhonda did too. So did you think dentures were for old people? No. You thought young people could get them? Yeah. Why? Because their teeth would hurt and you would have to take them out. Have you seen young people have dentures before? Yeah. Hunter. Yeah. Her cousin, or yeah, her cousin's boyfriend's really young and he has dentures, ex-boyfriend now, but so she saw someone else that was young, kind of young, go through it. Younger than my mom. Do you think kids think that it's funny when people have dentures? Yeah. Like kids pick on people that have dentures? Mm -hmm. Do you think kids pick on me? Yeah. They do? Yeah, the people that are being rude. Oh, well, yeah, of course. So do you think it's more likely that you think kids are kids pick on people more or do you think adults do or do you think they both do both why do you think people pick on people about dentures because they think that their life is perfect and their teeth are already perfect so they think that it's just fine to make fun of other people you think that they don't have to get that so they think that the person with perfect looking teeth is probably happy with their teeth so they they won't be bothered if someone picks on them yeah um what are you gonna say what do you remember the most about me when I first got my teeth done and I first had the surgery? What do you remember the most? Always wanting pretzels. <laughs> uh, me always wanting pretzels? Yeah, and that's kind of a weird thing to want actually after extractions, but my favorite snack was those Flips brand caramel and sea salt pretzels. Um, what do you think the hardest thing about getting dentures at a sort of early age, what do you think the hardest thing was for me? 
having to keep going back because they wouldn't do them right. See, look, she's 11 years old and she knows that. That probably was the hardest part. The hardest part is that they're not perfect when they're first made and you do have to keep going back and a lot of people give up and I wanted to give up and I wanted to just not have to keep arguing and trying to fight for a good result because I felt like it should have been a good result to begin with. So I got mad and I think a lot of people just get mad and give up and they don't keep going back. Um, what do you think the best thing is? What's the best part about getting dentures for anybody? What's something Being happy good? with your teeth. That it lets you be happy. Mm -hmm. Not being insecure about them. Um, do you think that if I had not made videos, then less people, well, do you think that because I'm making videos, it's helping other people? If you make more videos, then it helps people. If you don't, then it doesn't help you. It doesn't help anybody if because I don't make they any. they don't know what happened. But what happens if I make these videos and then people want to pick on you because your mom has dentures? Just ignore them. Would it bother you? Not really. Just a little bit. But I'd block them. What about people at your school? Like other kids, if they see these videos and they just want to be mean? Tell on them. Yeah, well, and tell on them. The teachers would make you, like, move lockers, not let them be by you in any class. Yeah, the teachers should. Have you had anybody be mean to you because I share my story? No. What Some of my friends have found you, though. Well, and how does that feel when your friends are watching me? Not, not really anything, but, like better because then you have more subscribers yeah um i was gonna say does it feel weird that a lot of people know they me have, they haven't found your youtube they found like your facebook too yeah does a it feel weird that it. does it feel weird to know that a lot of people at your school watch me no it feels weird to me <laughs> why because you're younger because a lot of a lot of yeah it's it's interesting I, actually just because I feel like I'm sharing this experience about my teeth and I feel like it's more geared towards adults but for some reason like a lot of younger people do watch it and I feel like there's a lot more people than people realize that are going through dental problems and have partials or have just gone through extractions or are getting dentures but it affects so many people it really shouldn't be so taboo but I feel like like before I was sharing my story and before I was talking about it, I feel like it was something no one talks about, no one wants to talk about. Um, and I would hope that my story is helping even younger people see that it's possible. You know, younger people end up getting their dentures, they have to get their teeth fixed. And I'm hoping it's helping other people be more open-minded so that they don't just pick on people just because they have fake teeth. Um, has it helped you want to take better care of your teeth after seeing everything I've gone through? Yeah. Or do you think it gives, like, the message that, look, everything's fine, so even if you get dentures, you'll be fine? Because that's also not the message I'm trying to send. Mm -mm. I would rather people see my story and know that even if I'd it... I'd rather have these teeth. You want your own, exactly. And you want to take care of your own teeth so that you don't have to go through what I did. Because they do. Your dentures do hurt some of the times. It hurts, and it's hard to go through, and it's really hard to... Well, I mean, it's just no fun for anybody when you lose your teeth and you have to look at yourself without your teeth in, but, um, Ugh. do you think I'm more confident now? Yes. Because your other teeth will always hurt, and now you can, like, you can smile with your teeth and not doing this. A pictures. real smile. You've noticed it made a difference in a good way in my life? Yeah. Um, what would you tell other kids if their parents have to get dentures? What would you tell the kids? Like, what's your best advice for a kid who's got a parent that has to go through this? That it would be okay, and then that they have hope because they can watch your videos and find Aww. ideas. What would you say? What can kids do that would help their parents when they're having a a bad teeth day when they're depressed? Um, you can compliment them. And try to make them feel better with gifts and pictures. That really helps too. Like the day that I got mine done, when I came home, the kids had been making me pictures. And when I was having hard days, it does help a lot when your kids make you pictures and your kids tell you you're pretty. So if there's any kids watching and your parents are going through this, just remember wow. that you can be you can be one of the biggest supportive people for your parents. Like knowing that my kids aren't uncomfortable with me having dentures or at least me helping them not be uncomfortable with it helps me a lot too 
just because it's hard to talk about when people are uncomfortable talking about it. So the only way that people are gonna even understand the process and understand the impact it has on the people going through it, the only way people will know that is for people to talk about it. So, um, but what was the hardest thing for you going through it as somebody, you know, I was, I had to, it's been very time consuming for one to have surgery and it, it takes a lot of mental effort to plan ahead and do that and then you actually have it so then you have to heal and then I've been vlogging and documenting my experience so that takes more time but what was the most negative what's the neg what's one of the more negative things for you as a kid having a parent going through it what was the hardest sad. part it was it sad. sad because it you know I have to keep going back because something was wrong yeah so it was probably they kicked you out and then you got back yeah it was probably sad and kind of stressful to watch not knowing, I mean, because kids don't know. They can't really fix it, you know? Because um, they can't go, ring, ring, you're allowed. You have to do this. Yeah, it's not in your control at all. Um, what's the best thing about it for a kid? Your, your mom or dad or whoever would be, like, happier and want to do more things with their smile or something. Yeah, and I think that being more healthy and able to not have all the toothache and tooth pain and infections, then it helps you be a better parent because then you are able to just be healthier and happier and your mind is not always constantly thinking about broken teeth and not wanting to show your teeth. Like, I like being able to smile at my kids now, just be able to full out smile and not be self-conscious. That's made a big difference for me and um, yeah, it's huge. We haven't played that game yet. I always used to talk about the game where you like put the plastic in your mouth and it goes like, oh, I want to do loud mouth. Yeah, my kids used to want me to play that and I used to say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, you know, because half my teeth are missing and I thought I'd feel like self conscious or whatever. Hurt your gums. Yeah. But, um, let me see, what else? Hmm. Social media. Oh, social media, yeah. So I did want to ask Nevaeh what it's like having a parent who is very active on social media it's fun what's it like when people just know who I am already <laughs> when we go they get somewhere a good like like my friends or like other strangers strangers like we go places and they're like oh I found you I already see or I've been watching you um good because they actually watch your videos well does it make you feel like um, does it make you want to be more active on social media? Yeah. See, she would like to be vlogging and doing YouTube and stuff. And so we've been talking about doing all that. Yeah. So we've been talking about, um, how I can help her start doing that as a kid. I would just take, you know, you just have to have a parent there that's able to edit your videos. help you edit, monitor them and supervise things. But, um, so watching me do it makes you want to do it. Yeah, because I've seen you edit your videos and upload them. It looks like fun. So I know some of it. Mm -hmm. So you like vlogging. Yeah. And being on social media. That's why I have like a lot of social media apps, kind of. Well, what do you think is one of the best parts about being active on social media and having channels where you talk to having, other people? Having like having like fans who actually like. You have more supporters. If they're like sad about something, they can make you feel better. Also, they're yeah, very happy. Well, and plus, it's like a huge support group of people that like support a each family. other. Like, uh, it is exactly. It's like another whole family. Like you guys really have been like a family to me, and it means the world to me. It really does. And it's been awesome for my kids to see to show them what kind of support there is in the world, even if it's just online because I know there's a lot of people too sick to leave their houses and can't even make it to church. And there's churches online now, there's friends online. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with your life online. You can pen reach, pals. yeah, it's like, well, pen pals too, but you can reach a lot of people. And what's, what's like, um, hmm. let's end this video off with, what's been the biggest blessing for our family since I got dentures. Family? Our whole family. What's been the biggest blessing? Can I say do? Sure. Getting all of like, getting like over a thousand followers and having another support group and having our family like more happier 
It, I've noticed that. You think we're happier? I've noticed that. I think we're, I think I've been happier and more comfortable and that helps everybody else be more happy and comfortable. And I, even though I'm just one person, one part of the family, I am the mom. There's only one mom and one dad. If you don't take care of them, you don't have someone in your place, you know what I mean? You really do have to do what's best for you. And it might have been a really hard year last year for us, like going through it as a family. But when you get past all that and you have the results you want and it's done, then you can be making a video like this saying we're happier because of it. Right? That's awesome. Well, I think that's it because we've been sitting here for like 15 minutes and that's about as long as I wanted this video to be. So maybe you will see Nevaeh again in the future because she wants to be on social media as well. So we're just getting our feet wet. I already have a YouTube channel. She does have accounts, but they're not all public. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions that you would like her to ask or to answer about dentures. Whatever it's called. Or about &A. anything else. Yeah, if you want to do another Q&A with me and my Nevea or my other kids, I've thought about asking my younger kids questions Question too. But if you give us ideas for videos like this, then I can actually ask the kids your questions and see what they actually think. We did because it when- Because it's interesting to know. Me and Katie did it when mom was pregnant with Marilyn and where we thought that kids came from, and I said a belly button. Yeah, that was funny. She thought kids came from a belly button. I was also thinking it would be fun to do this kind of video if I, if I do it and ask a kid questions who doesn't have a parent going through this, just because I know that their opinions about dentures are probably different, and it's different for a kid that does have a parent going through it. Um, but hopefully this will help some of you who might be worried about how your kids are gonna process it and you heard it right from her exactly what she thinks and I'm glad at the end of the day that it's had a positive effect on our family and my kids and hopefully that will just continue but that is it for now that's the rest of this video we're about to go in the store and finish our shopping and then go home but that's it thank you guys for joining us we'll see you in a future video yes. or my next one or whatever talk to you later bye